Good morning and welcome to Nigeria Now on your digital affairs, Pan-African News Network, TOS Television, the program which brings you the big stories across all Nigeria's national dailies. Um, I am Sagir Ibrahim and this morning I have with me Mr. Adibar Fajimi, the sub-editor here at TOS TV Network, to have a look and give his analysis on the various headlines this morning. Good morning, Mr. Adibar. Good morning. It's, it's, it's quite, you know, a rainy morning. So let's just go straight into it. I have the Blueprint newspaper here. Here with me. Um, the banner headline on the Blueprint newspaper clearly states uh, the Northern Elders Forum to Masari El Rufai, Matawale, uh, Sani Bello, your security measures locked down on the north, market restriction, closure of schools, others will worsen challenges. Niger monarch Katina lawmaker's wife, two kids abducted, Jigar traditional title holder too, Fintiri orders closure of 30 Adama boarding schools. So first of all, I want to ask Mr. Adibayo, the decision by the government, so far, state governors, as a matter of fact, to other other closure of of schools in order to checkmate or reduce the tendencies of students being abducted in their numbers. Do you think it will be effective in the broader scheme of things to ensure that uh, the abduction, the series of abductions, stops? Well, um, I don't think uh, that is going to solve uh, the situation, okay. the problem, uh, rather. Uh, because uh, even despite the fact that uh, 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 governors uh, you know, in that region have, you know, have ordered closure of schools, markets, over and over, yet we still see this uh, bandit, you know, bandit you yes. know, kidnapping and, and abducting helpless you know, Nigerians. So I think, uh, though that is the best measure, you know, they think they can put into place now. But, you know, see, citizens are saying this is it's another lockdown. It's going to worsen situation. You, yes. don't want to, you don't want us to go to school. You don't want us to go to the marketplace. Then how do we hit? How do we survive? If we cannot go to where we will do our trading, so how, how are we going to survive? So uh, I, I'm not sure that is going to solve the situation. So I just want to suggest that uh, it is high time uh, Nigerian leaders, you know, uh, redeploy or rather deploy the use of technology to fight this one uh, and ensure that, mm -hmm. you know, all these menace, you know, uh, come to an end. All right. So let's move forward to the Daily Times newspaper. From the very top, we see uh, federal government, UN ECHO has condemned Guinea coup d'etat. As a matter of fact, when I got a hold of the story, I think yesterday, I was, you know, surprised to see to see that Alpha Conde's Guinea was taken over and overrun by by the military. So the question I want to ask is: first, it was Mali. Now we are seeing Guinea. Is it expected to see more of this happening? Because if there is one thing I have realized as a trend over the past, say, one year before the COVID nineteen pandemic up until now is that for some reason, for obvious reasons, as a matter of fact, people have complained that Africa suffers a gross democratic and leadership problem. So should we expect more of this going forward, you know, the replication of this across other African countries? Of course, we should. We should because uh, it, it is basically on the underground. So in uh, you know in Africa generally, so we don't see leadership position as you yes. know a leadership position as a place for us to serve. We see it as a place or as an avenue to mass wealth, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to get access to the national boutique. So uh, if care is not taken uh, honestly, I, I see more of this, you know, you know. Okay, in, because, in because African, I read I read countries. I read the the translated version of his speech and. If there was anything that caught my attention was where he talked about an increase in poverty, corruption, and lawlessness of their leaders. Of course, we saw the, the really, really pathetic pictures of the former president, Alpha Conde, you know, in the midst of military men after he was arrested. So bearing in mind that, you know, these were the reasons that were given by this new military ruler of, Ga of Guinea. So are we expecting that same or you know militaries across the different african countries might use this as an avenue for example in nigeria to seize power uh, well, anything can happen it is africa it is not uh, in africa you hardly have sane society so uh for me anything can happen when it comes to that so mm -hmm. and 
until we are able to solve this leadership problem that is ravaging the African continent, I expect more of that. All right, so let's move to the Nigerian News Direct newspaper. On its banner headline there, we see third wave COVID-19 kills 355 in one month, cases surge in rivers, Lagos, others. Now, Mr. Adibai, we've been having a continuum of the COVID-19, you know, uh, vaccine distribution across the country. So why do we see a surge, you know, in the cases so far, as well as a rise in deaths? Uh, I think uh, the, the reason for that surge, from my own uh, view, is the uh, level of the, or the, the understanding people have, or let me say the perception that mm. people really have about this uh, uh, COVID-19. And even uh, despite the fact that government has been saying, okay, see, we are, we, are, we are in the third wave, this, that, yet people are not taking it serious. In fact, sometimes I, I almost feel ashamed while, while on transit. And, you know, sometimes I've just discovered that I'm the only one putting on my face, I mean, my mask, yes, even yes. in churches. You know, even in my church, as I said yesterday, you know, I, I was the only person. Okay, so well, people are being careless about this. So mm -hmm. it is not even more about vaccine. And government have been saying that even if you have been vaccinated, you still need to, you know, observe all the protocols that, that are meant to be observed. So, but because people do not have good, you know, the people do not have orientation and the perspective they have about this. So I think this is one of the major reasons why we are still expect why we are still experiencing this and we have been saying it here on this program that government should uh, you know embark on massive oriented to ensure that you know critical stakeholders you know are well engaged to ensure that this book can because most of what ordinary nigerian you know believe is what these stakeholders are telling them that see this thing is not real eh? Even in churches, they say, are you not serving God? Are you not doing this? But God, God even God in the Bible, we have seen different cases like that, okay. where God, you know, uh, asks, when something like that happened, and God told them, see, for you to not to express, for you not to be a victim, you need to take so, so measures so that you can be alive and be safe. All right, so let's just move back to the Daily Times newspaper. The last headline we'll be treating this morning. Uh, on the banner headline of... The Daily Times, you see, will withdraw suit against resident doctors if, and this according to uh, the federal government, insist on implementation of no work, no pay policy, discovers 2,000 unqualified names on residency training list and demands refund of 588. Johesu issues 15-day strike ultimatum. So we've seen the bruhaha of the National Association of Resident Doctors, federal government side, you know, festa for... It's, been, it's getting to one month now, and no side is willing to back down. And we see the federal government saying they will draw their suit against the government, you know, if with the listed, with the listed demands. So in your opinion, when, does it, when do you think it becomes right for the federal government to, to agree or admit that, you know, this is a looming strike which, whether we like it or not, is affecting Nigerians, and there's a possibility of hospitals shut down soon. So do you think the federal government is now right to come out making demands amidst the fact that we are facing a COVID-19 crisis, a cholera crisis, Lassa fever is there, as well as resident doctors not wanting to resume work? Uh, everything falls and rises on leadership. And uh, I'm still going to... Uh, our, uh, I'm still going to uh, engage our government on this, you know. Uh, what federal government is saying, I don't think uh, is right, so to say. And uh, no matter the brohaha, no matter the stand, the, the both sides are taking. Mm -hmm. I think uh, federal government, uh, the, 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 the government we're talking about are politicians. And they should uh, prioritize the welfare of Nigerians. These people who are saying they, uh, they, they are giving resident doctors, you know, grant, you know, uh, that unless they do this, they they should think about Nigeria and these people have enough money, you know, to take care of themselves, to, to get good... The uh, best of the, the best treatment. The, the best of... The, <laughs> even outside the country, yes. but they should think of an, uh, of, of an of African Nigerian, Nigerian who cannot Nigeria. even... Who will struggle to get 100 Naira or 200 Naira paracetamol. Do you understand? So they should forget, they should drop the ego and think and work 
on the best interest of an African Nigeria. So I don't think it is the best time for, for federal government to be making we, we all we all know how much this politician you know are hearing and, for yes. a period of four, in fact a civil servant cannot earn what a Nigerian senator. Uh, not even senator chairman will earn in four years. So they should just drop the ego and, and, and prioritize the welfare of Nigeria. So that's the best way I see it. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Adebayo, for coming in on the show once again. Thank and you. that it's will be it for Nigeria now. Remember, you can be part of the program by connecting with us on our various social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at TOS TV Network. You can also watch Nigeria Now via our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. You can also watch a recap of the show via our YouTube page at TOS TV Network. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's been it. My name is Sagir Ibrahim and I'll see you tomorrow.